I'm Andrea Dubay Collin from McKee Pondle Equine Services, and today we're going to have a brief conversation on placentitis in broodmares. The clinical signs that you will see in your mare that you should be watching for in, in late term pregnancy are premature udder development, so an udder that gets big and gets full of milk before it should, vaginal discharge, um, reduced fetal mobility within the abdomen. Foals should often be very, very mobile within the abdomen and you should be able to feel them kicking and bouncing around while you're grooming, etc. If we get called out to see a mare who is, for example, 280 days pregnant and who has vaginal discharge, the first thing we're going to do is look at her udder to see if her milk is coming in early. The same thing if you have a mare who's 280 days and she has milk and she's streaming milk, that shouldn't be happening and that's not normal and they need an exam. So the first thing we often do is have a look transabdominally at the fetus and look at the fetal heart rate. Then we will likely sedate the mare and the foal depending on the fetal heart rate and how the foal is doing and do a combined utero-placental thickness measurement. That is a rectal ultrasound measurement that we can look at the Coriolan toes, or basically the placenta within the uterus and see if A, it has been separated from the wall of the uterus, and B, see if there's fluid or thickening in the uterus. So if a mare has a thickened placenta on ultrasound, we normally institute a myriad of treatments, but the biggest thing is to get that infection under control. If the infection is not brought under control, the fetus probably will die and or be aborted or be born prematurely and systemically ill. If we start treatment early, we can oftentimes A, keep the mare's cervix closed, B, get the infection under control, and C, help bring the foal back to health within the uterus and get it to a normal delivery date. The one thing to keep in mind is that if you have a mare who has placentitis, these mares are very prone to foaling with a red bag delivery because there's premature separation of the placenta from the uterus, which means that when they go to foal, the foals do not normally break the placenta the way they should. And so they can suffocate within the placenta on foaling. So mares who are mares who have placentitis are high risk foaling situations that need to be heavily attended and need to be monitored carefully. Once you've identified your mare has placentitis with your veterinarian, there are a number of parameters to monitor and things that we can do to ensure that you get a healthy, happy foal on the ground. 